Lucky here. It's the Pat and JT Podcast. Pat and JT Podcast. Well, as this episode drops, Happy New Year's Eve to you. Yeah. Thanks for listening to our podcast. It's wow. the Pat and JT Podcast. Uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, it's Pat and JT. Super. 402-403-9478. These you can Always text us or call us, leave us a voicemail, whatever you like to do. Oh we gosh. appreciate that. I was in there eating some soup and I, I made um, Mrs. Grass. Love Mrs. Grass. Extra noodles? or yes. not? Extra, yeah, you got to have extra noodles. Extra noodles. Um, I used to be strictly Lipton. <laughs> Mrs. Grass is legit. But Mrs. Grass and a little box that has the two boxes that pop apart. How cool is that? I'd never bought it before. You've never had it? Yeah. Mm. And it's like, whoa, this is good. So I made it in the microwave and it's still so it's flipping little, hot. Yeah, it's Mrs. Grass is legit. Killing me right now, though. Because you're so hungry. I'm so hungry. Just like when you get a pizza brand new and you just open it up in the house and it's so freaking <sighs> hot, but you're so starving and you risk third degree burns on whatever that the roof of your mouth. You'll do it. And then the rest of the pizza is just is is wasted. And the next day you can't taste anything. And the next day you're ultra sensitive to everything. Cold, hot, whatever. Yep, but you are you so hungry. Wait. Just dude, fat kid, pump the brakes. <laughs> And again, Speaking of fat kids, well, this okay, is what we, this right there is a great example of. You just said it in the first thirty seconds of our podcast as to why we may be having a, uh, carrying a little bit extra weight this holiday season is because we get soup, <laughs> but we get the soup with extra noodles. <laughs> we can't just like we did before. Just you know what? Let's just sl- slow it down a little bit. Let's just have just regular, regular chicken noodle noodles? soup, right? I could have, but it's the same price. That's right. You get extra. <laughs> so always buy the extra. and the noodles are the best. Though it's the best part of it good but yeah speaking of the the, as you said the fat kid or the extra weight yeah it it hit me 10 pounds yeah are you kidding me i'm I'm, yeah i i was uh bear i was gonna my plan is and or was because i've been going to kosama consistently you know for a while so i've been obviously out eating my uh out eating my coverage (laughs) what did they say that no amount of exercise can beat a bad diet but well i've so I endorse that comment for sure. <laughs> but I was going to kind of, my, my plan is, and still it was and is, is that January 1st, mm-hmm. the fir- the whole month of January, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to consume any alcohol because I think that's my downfall. I have, and it's not that I drink a ton, but when I drink, I like, uh, I get that little tipsy feeling and then I just dive face first into the pantry all, just all night. So I'm going to go no alcohol. in the, pa- in the a pantry, ton. huh? We are big With snackers. The kids or because of a you ton. guys? Uh, because of Beth. <laughs> <laughs> she's a snacker and I love snacks and yeah. So she's a 12 year old boy. Uh-huh. Um, but I, no alcohol. Uh-huh. I was going to, um, we're going to go and just overall eat healthier. It's kind of dovetails, dovetails yeah. into something that also I want to talk about later on is I got a great Christmas present. I'll tell you what that is in a second, okay. but do you have that written down? So you don't I do. Okay, good. I do. But yeah, I, eat, I don't know what it is. <laughs> this, this holiday season has kicked me in the seeds. It has to, well, not me, but well, it has, <laughs> it's definitely done whatever the, it equal to that is for me. Yeah, it has. I don't. Un- I, don't I don't understand. I don't get it. Um, so, and I don't keep snacks in my house as a rule, like and like crackers, chips, chips and salsa is my downfall. Right. That is me. Candy and sweets don't do it. Yeah, candy and sweets don't do it for me. Um, I have I've, one piece of chocolate. I'm done. But other than that, I can, I can stay yeah. away from those. Yeah. I can stay away. You know what did me? Oh, I'll tell you one thing that got me is over Thanksgiving. No Christmas. Over Christmas, I made Christmas dinner. We had the spiral ham, mm-hmm. right? It was delicious. So now I have like 18 pounds. No, I don't. I got a five pound ham, right? Spiral cut. Yeah. So it was just mom and dad and me. And so I have ham in the freezer now. Got that taken care of. So, so that's, that's good. good. Um, but my dad's favorite kind of ice cream, I decided I'd get him some ice cream. So he had one serving. <laughs> I didn't want to take it home, I'm sure. No, he didn't. He says, oh, I've got some at home. I'm fine. I'm like, yeah, but I don't want it here. Right. Uh, again. Because I haven't had ice cream in a long take, time. Take the hit. Pour it out. It's too late. Oh, it's um, gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it was a small container, but it wasn't like the little the little two cup thing. It was a little bit bigger than that. It's Wells Blue Bunny Banana Split. Oh, I've I, never had that. I bet that's I, good. I had never had it before. And I'm really... <sighs> If ice cream, <laughs> let's just say I'm really boring when it comes to ice cream. I like vanilla. I like chocolate chip. F- fair I, enough. I, my, maybe chocolate, but if it's vanilla, then I put Ovaltine on it. Okay. <laughs> That's my sprinkle. That's fair enough. Um, so I never try any of the Neapolitan. I no, don't, I don't like either. strawberries. and eh, Pralines and cream sometimes, oh, but that was from 31 Flavors, right? Um this was really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I it's bet. got obviously it's, it's got, gone. It's gone. Pockets of fudge 
just little, not a lot either. Like you get to a point, you're like, there's no more fudge. What are you talking about? And then there's pockets of strawberry and there's banana chunks. That sounds good. I never thought I'd like banana ice cream. Get out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really good. So thanks, dad. I can stay away from ice cream too. I don't have to, like, I don't, I never get ice cream on my cake if or I pie have it, or anything like that. I just don't. And I have one piece of pumpkin pie still in my refrigerator. That's not going to happen. And it's probably already turned. Probably. Yeah. I, I didn't even, I put it in there. I gave them the rest of the pie and mom's like, D you got to keep a piece for yourself. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah. That's not it. But it, it's got this something, something's got to give though, because the, the pants are tight. I mean, it's not even one of those guys. I was talking about being fat all the time. It just is what it is. <laughs> This is just a little bit worse than normal. Okay? I walk. I, we have. We don't have. We don't have stair grand staircases in our house. We have eight steps. Turn seven steps at the top. I. <laughs> <laughs> Mine. If I go in through the garage, it's just seven steps. And still. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> we got I'm all. We got all of our, all of our Christmas stuff <laughs> packed up and put away yesterday. Yesterday. Every single thing is packed away, organized trees, every yep. ornament. And yesterday, and I was legit sore. <laughs> At the end of the day, I winded, sweaty. Is all your sweaty. stuff in the basement? Uh, it's all in the basement. Yeah. Yeah, in it. a little, little crawl space area. Yeah. I have a picture yeah. of me. I, I got myself a great idea. Oh, yeah. Getting, and this is, again, why I'm sore. <laughs> but I work out every day and why I'm sore. It's just, I'm also 46. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I got myself, there's like underneath our stairs is where we keep all of our Christmas stuff. Okay. And I got myself backed into the corner. I got trapped. I couldn't, because I kept back, Beth kept handing me boxes, kept bringing them back. And then I realized I couldn't, I couldn't get out. I was trapped. Uh -huh. So she didn't help, went and got a camera. <laughs> and you could barely see me through this little crack. And I'm hunched. And every inch of my body So did you have today. to take everything out to get out? Uh, just about three, three okay, totes so bad. and a tree. Okay, that's good. But it was all heavy crap. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't put out, <laughs> I put all my Christmas stuff out the day before uh, Christmas. Because mom and dad were coming for, for dinner. if they weren't, it wouldn't have. It would. It and it was stuff that mom had given me, right? So there's. Mm -hmm. So I put there's the angel and there's that and there's this thing. There's Tis that. the season. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, get out of here! Mom's got to take her pants off and put the angels away. <laughs> or reverse, maybe whatever. Reverse order. I put the angels away first. Yeah, took but pants off. Yes. But I, I heard the other day a really great idea going into the new year, and I know a lot of people like you have that January 1st reset. And, and, and I know a lot of people say, well, you don't have to wait till the first to do it, but there is something um, mental about it because it's that reset, that new year. Yeah. Here we go. Let's and, and you're start. looking forward to a goal. You're like, okay, I'm going to work my way to that. And that's yeah. our go point. It's like a lot of people won't start a diet on a Tuesday or a, four, yeah. or a Thursday. You got to start on a Monday. But this January 1st is that exception to the rule. We can start on January 1. I think that what we should do is open our own exercise facility we could have yeah. classes okay and keep it open for a couple months then turn it into a bar i love that idea <laughs> because it's a great idea <laughs> we'll make it membership but you got to join before right we'll just call it the gym january we'll call it the gym just come go to the, the gym. gym gonna go to the gym and it yeah so it's a bar for the first two months of every year it, the bar turns into an exercise facility march one we transition right over i love it ready for st so if you so if you pull, if the whole and you you, saw, you get an annual membership yes. first couple months you can work out and after march it's free cover because you you're go. a member yeah then you're a member i love it that's a great idea i think somebody should do that that's an awesome idea <laughs> maybe next year <laughs> we'll get again and then next year's will be we, no more procrastinating after january 1st <laughs> so we're aiming for uh, 2022 that's where it was Baby steps. Oh my God. Got it. I got it real quick about the healthy yeah. food stuff. I got Instapot for Christmas. Oh my God. Beth and I did. Yeah. She wants nothing to do with it. I love this thing. It's awesome. So I'm, I'm, a, oh I'm, a, I'm a baby Instapotter. I look like I'm making meth. Anybody has an, <laughs> F, an Instapot knows what I'm talking about. And it's no, not breaking news that these things are awesome. But I need you guys to send me some ideas what, on what food. What have you made so far? Chicken breasts. <laughs> That's, it. That's it. I made one meal and I'm already hooked. <laughs> But it's the it's good. It took it took eight minutes to make uh almost three pounds of chicken breast okay. tender. Yeah, uh, awesome. Okay. So good. Okay. Anyway, okay. so I want some. Uh, I want, you guys got to text some in recipes. Or whatever. Yeah, just some ideas because I've and, been on. Keep, you want to do a low carb? Uh, you try and keep yeah, it low just carb. Just healthy, low calorie. Low carb never works for me. I never follow low carb. It's always I. I just eat less calories than I burn. <laughs> that's 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 what works for me. I can't do right. low carb. Right. Okay. But they can't be the calories you've been eating this last month. You found out. Well, they can't. Do you can't think you exceeded? Guarant freaking to you. <laughs> it wasn't just they were bad, uh, no. car, bad calories. I exceeded by four in the afternoon every day. And then it got lit after that. Because <laughs> we'd have a couple of cocktails and then. Yeah. Whew, 
<laughs> I may or may not have opened the <laughs> Parmesan cheese lid and poured it in my mouth no a way. couple times. <laughs> I've never done that. I can say that. I can't. I can't beat that one. But uh, yeah. Anyway, Sometimes. so text, text it in 402-403-9478 or uh, Facebook. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's Pat and JT. Just like your go-to uh, your Instapot, Instapot thing. Love it. I When you're talking about a keto thing, that whole deal. I, I love the whole idea of keto. I just, <clears throat> I just can't stick to it. I can't. I, and I try to do to prep and I've tried and I, I'll never eat cal- cauliflower again in my life. <laughs> I don't. Why you don't want to? Every time you sneeze, poop your pants. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. It, I never had that kind of reaction to it. Broccoli will do that more to me than not it'll just, just the extra fiber. It just gives you the extra toots from the fiber. But the, right. the 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 cauliflower. I used to love cauliflower, and was so excited when it you know mashed cauliflower, cauliflower crust for pizza, all this. And then I tried all that stuff. I'm done. And I've had too, too many much. things that didn't taste worth a crap. Yeah. And I, I'm ruined on it. I really, I just, I really could not. I made a great big salad though for, uh, for a Christmas dinner. Great big bowl. We chopped up a whole bunch of romaine hearts and we put in all the stuff. Da, 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 no dressing, and that stayed. That kept really well for four days. And I just get a scoop of, of my salad, put it in a bowl, and whatever go from there. But nothing on it in the refrigerator, mm-hmm. and it it stayed really well. I was surprised because yeah. generally it ends up your, you know, the lettuce starts wilting Gross. and the tomatoes look awful and the avocados get to brown and, but it didn't, it stayed really good. So I might just try that a few more times because I, I kind of crave a salad once in a while, you know, yeah. it's like your, your the body's crunch. like, please yes. give me something else. <laughs> yes, please just li- a buffer between <laughs> crap and crap. Just give me something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Sometimes your body's just like a hard reset. It really is. It really is. So um, I got to do something. And this has nothing, n- nothing against um, the Popeye's chicken sandwich or Popeye's chicken at all. But uh, Bennett is, he's loves Popeye's chicken. Him and his friends went consecutive days to get that that Popeye's chicken sandwich. Yeah. The one that was sold out crazy. Waited in line for 20 minutes for lunch. And when we were on uh, on our honeymoon, he went to Popeye's on Wednesday, uh, or the Wednesday, whatever. And that, 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 that night got sick, not because of Popeye's. It was like yeah. the flu. No, I get but that. Pukey, 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 pukey. Yeah. And he will not, he won't eat fried chicken anymore. He's like, I'm done. I can't do it. Not even just Popeye's. It's uh, none of it. You get the, the smell, the flavor, the taste yeah. is, is like it's imprinted. And I, I get that. So therefore that the, happened, the cauliflower thing with the you cauliflower too. thing. That's what mine is. I just, I can't even, ugh, I just, no, I can't. And I loved the smashed or mashed cauliflower, like potatoes. Yeah. Loved that. Mm, it's good stuff. So good. Not anymore. No, that happened to my mom long, long time ago. Um, she got sick, not from the food, but it was after she had eaten um, because I had the same thing, right? We we both went to Arby's. Mm-hmm. Love their roast. She beef. can't do it anymore. Mm-mm. She hasn't had Arby's since. Oh, that's a shame. That's when the Arby's was over on Seventy Second Street South of Dodge. Mm-hmm. Is where it was. There was an Arby's right there, and I don't know if it is still there or not. I don't think it is. I don't know. But that was that drive through. I remember that. I okay. remember that day. She's I was missed a kid. A she has missed a ton yes. of deliciousness. <laughs> but she won't won't even entertain it. But I get it because once you hit that, whatever the food is, it's like, I'm done. You're off my plate. I don't need you anymore. See you later. I'm trying to figure out. I've had, uh, have you ever had Aftershock, the alcohol? No. Um, it's, I don't know. I think it's cinnamony. I don't know what it is, but I'm trying to figure out how many years ago this was. It would, well, Aftershock. gosh, oh my gosh. It's been like almost 25 years, 26 years. <laughs> it was on new year's Eve. So it's kind of appropriate. Oh and, yeah. Uh, I was at my buddy, Michael's apartment and he had Aftershock and I thought it, I was a new, a baby drinker. I was a new one. I was like 21, <laughs> maybe 22. <laughs> And oh, it was, it's so cool. Cause you take a shot and mm-hmm. then you f- breathe in and it like freezes like ice. It's your throat. Like, oh and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Oh so, Hey, throat. why not take 11 shots? Shot, shot, <laughs> shot, shot. <laughs> next thing I knew I woke up the next day After face shock. down in his bathroom. Oh, yes. No. Face down in his bathroom. I had like little, they had the little inch tile on the floor yeah. lines on my face. <laughs> I was out. So I can't even, I can't, I haven't. Tried. Is it still around? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I couldn't even thinking about that makes me. Isn't it funny? It's not alcohol. It's no, just that alcohol. Just that alcohol. Not all alcohol. No. Just that alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> unlike just unlike that. Bennett, all chicken is off. Done. If it's fried, I'm not having it. None. It's not. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. All right. So you said uh, great presents. Yeah. The, yeah. Well, the Instant Pot was my favorite. That was your best I, I, one? And I love, I love that. I love, I got an, an eagle from my uh, my brother-in-law, that. Josh. This eagle. <laughs> I, I've a, I'll put a picture of it. It's on the corner of my desk protecting everybody now. 
it's it makes quite the statement. I took a we I put it on our uh, fireplace. You yeah. saw that on the mantle. Yeah. And after we took all the Christmas stuff down, I took another picture of it mm-hmm. because after Christmas is gone, Justice rides alone, uh-huh. and it was just the eagle there by himself That's with it. the fire oh underneath him. Gives me goosies just thinking about it. <laughs> so yeah, that was yeah, it was a great oh Christmas. God. It was fun. That's good. Good for you. My mom gave me some slippers, which oddly I had been on the hunt mm-hmm. because my other ones the the dog had destroyed a long time ago, and I hadn't replaced them. I have my slippers here at work because mm-hmm. I don't want the dog getting those. And he's kind of quit carrying my shoes around kind of thing. It's we're, we're getting past that. So I was like, hmm, see if I can find some. They're called snoozies. Snoozies? Okay. And they are awesome. <laughs> Never heard <laughs> of snoozies. just going to throw that out there. If you're looking for some slippers, there you go. Check out the snoozies. Snoozies. Yeah, they have them on Amazon too. But <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, super, super good. I uh, wanted to thank uh, real quick here before we wrap things up. Um, Keith uh, posted on Facebook when we were talking about the trains and you think that, you know, all around Omaha, there's so many train tracks. Obviously this is a hub. We know that. that. So all trains go through Omaha eventually, or apparently they do. And with the UP and all that other, you know, the yeah. train yards and everything else. And there are tracks where you just, you just assume because of sometimes they're, they're just in disrepair or they appear to be. And there's weeds growing all around them. You just figure they're dead. Yeah. And they're not, like we had found out. 144th, yeah. there's a one that crosses right south of center, like we talked about, that just blew me away, that there's actually a train that goes across that street. He's lost, man. And it completely throws the whole city off because everybody is backed up in all five directions. And it's so, it, it's <laughs> triggering when you're standing there waiting for a train and it's going super slow or it stops. <laughs> or like, if it stops with one car, like <laughs> just one more car, just go eight more feet and, and then I get it through. And then it up. backs up. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, you just want to, no! Oh, just scream. Crazy. But Keith said um, that there are people out there that uh, build rail bikes and they go out and, and, and get on those abandoned trails abandoned rails and it's called abandonedrails.com. It's really cool. It's for the whole country. So like you click on Nebraska, zoom into Omaha and there's one track that's listed as abandoned and it starts at about 134th only and L. One? Yeah. There's Man. only one listed on there. So all these around us are live where huh. we're at. Uh, but this one starts at about 134th and L street and it heads south and it goes all the way south and then it bends back to the east and ends up at basically, it's South 25th Street in Jeez. Gilmore. Um, it's just northwest of 370 and Kennedy Freeway. And you won't get in trouble by going on these things? And apparently not. They're, they're abandoned rails. And, okay. And, but it's got all kinds of information across Fun. the country. But apparently people get on them and they build, build those rail, what do you call them? Rail bikes. Rail bikes. Yeah. That's not, I would love that. I've always wanted to be a hobo. Like <laughs> I've wanted, I've wanted to ride, I've wanted to ride on a train. To ride the rails. Huh? Yeah, I did. I wanted to ride the, the rails really bad. And what easier way on a rail bike than actual bike on a road? Right. 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 And no traffic. If, well, you gotta be careful probably at some crossings. Maybe, but just, you know, just keep it. It goes along the Papio. Just keep your head on a swivel. You, you follow the train track. You'll be fine. Just like anybody that, get hit, that, that, that get, gets hit by a train is absolutely on you. Mm-mm. The train's not chasing you into a ditch. You, I, if you get no. hit by a train while it's on the tracks, no, I man. can't. I just every time I hear a story about that, it just. I, but then I see it all the time on Center Street when you're sitting at that stoplight. Yeah, and there are cars that are on the train tracks at the stoplight. Yeah. Even if I know the tr- the track is dead, I just inside me I can't stop my and car that on train tracks. Not dead, right? That's not dead, and they stop on the tracks. Yeah, I don't like, know how they do it. It gives me anxiety just saying that out loud. Yeah. Yeah, it's awful. Oh, nope, no thank you. So anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there if you wanted to try something new. Because it would okay. be kind of kind of fun on a yeah on a rail bike. Yeah, it'd be a I lot of fun. I wonder if like the ones that- And the rail bikes are the old digga digga those or is it an actual know. bike bike? I don't know. I've got to find pictures. Okay. Maybe we'll somebody knows about that. All right. So, so there you go. So, okay, if you have pictures of yourself on a rail bike, give um, it, get it to us. Instapot recipes. Instapot recipes. <laughs> No big deal. Uh, if you want to go in on a gym slash bar. That's right. If you would be a member of our gym bar. Of the gym. The gym bar. <laughs> on the social media. It's Pat and JT. Happy New Year. Be safe. Thanks for listening to our podcast. Pat and JT Podcast. A Parkville Media Production.